Deploy Your Talents, part of CSR Europe's Skills for Jobs program, is a concrete example of collaboration between schools, the third sector and businesses, which wish to help young people reap the job opportunities that technological innovation can offer. Istituto Galileo Galilei, Liceo Linguistico Alessandro Manzoni e Liceo Classico Setti Carraro. According to the European Union, there will be more than 800,000 unfilled vacancies for information and communication technology professionals by 2020. Moreover, there is a need for digital skills for nearly all jobs where digital technology complements existing tasks. In the near future, 90% of jobs in careers such as engineering, accountancy, nursing, medicine, art, architecture and many more will require some level of digital skills. I think uh, that in my future job, uh, science, engineering, mathematics and uh, technologies are, will be really important because uh, I want to be a doctor and uh, these uh, topics will uh, be really useful for my future job. This potential growth in ICT employment in the next five years is partially due to what is called the app economy, an economic environment in which apps play a primary role in the relationship between firms and consumers. Passion, commitment and the desire to share their experience with young people. These were the premises on which CA Technologies employees prepared to raise the school students' awareness of technical scientific subjects. How our work in schools is vital. We can help young students decide their careers by giving them a concrete picture of the jobs and positions they can aspire to. Today we had the opportunity to see how a company works. I was really impressed by the work that they are doing in the security sector. So tomorrow I will be happy to work in the security. This youngster reminded me of myself a few years ago. Partnership between the public and private sector can help bridge the gap between supply and demand for skills, capabilities and experience. We at CA Technologies, alongside NGO Sodalitas, which launched the program in 2014, will be in the forefront with our people promoting in Italian schools a passion for STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, which are essential to building future talent in information and communication technology. So Dalitas is a foundation composed by some hundred companies and about 120 volunteers, ex-managers as I am, which operates in the area of social responsibility. One of these areas is called uh, Youngsters and Enterprises and operates in trying to fill the gap between what is taught at high school and university and what is required in terms of competencies by the industries. This air within this scope, of course, uh, deploy your talents fits perfectly. Besides promoting technical scientific studies, deploy your talents also aims to overcome gender stereotypes. When speaking to students at mainly girls' schools like Setti Carraro and Manzoni, we make sure to stress the value of STEM subjects above and beyond mere career choices and highlight the growing importance of such skills in society with no gender distinction. If I should choose a role in this company, I would probably choose the marketing and the public relation role. In fact, my skills are better used to the interaction with the public rather than the use of computers, the technology and the technicians. But life is unpredictable, so probably in a few years I could change my mind and start a career based on scientific subjects, physics and mathematics. In the framework of the STEM project Deploy Your Talents, we met today at CI Technologies with a group of students from three high schools to make sure they understand the pivotal role of technologies throughout our lives and our careers, and also for roles that are typically seen as non-technological, like marketing and communications, that are normally considered more from a humanistic education standpoint. 
I think that for the future and also for the present it's really important the use of technology because if we didn't have technology we wouldn't be able to do a lot of things we, we do on a daily basis like connecting to other people that live all around the world and buying things and get information from the internet. We now live in a world where there is a lot of technology. Without it we wouldn't be uh, able to live a normal life.